That's right. I got one email I didn't bring out here, but somebody wrote me and asked me, uh, how, what do you address the pastor's wife as? Hmm. Should she be addressed as the first lady or by her name? They Dear say the church they're in. Uh, is that one of the, oh, you do have it. Oh, I forgot. All right, let's read that. I find first, that very interesting. <laughs> All right, let's have it. This is on the subject of uh, first ladies. Yes. <laughs> this person says, dear Pastor Jennings, uh -huh. I watch your show every Sunday and I really enjoy your messages. Thank God for that. But I wanted to know if you could answer this question for me. Mm -hmm. How are we supposed to address the pastor's wife in the church? Mm -hmm. Do we address her as first lady or mm -hmm. by her name? In my church, if we call her by name, she gets upset. Well, because she's of the devil. <laughs> That's why. That's right. Yeah. You want to know what to address her? Mm -hmm. I, tell you, I tell you what title to address her depending upon her age. That's right. First Timothy chapter 5. <laughs> Glory <laughs> to God. Amen. Depending upon her age, That's I tell you age. what title that God give her. That's Amen. Right. All right, let's go to work. First Timothy chapter 5, we're at verse 2. Mm -hmm. The elder women. All right. If the pastor's wife is an elder woman, what title should we address her? As mothers. You address her as mother. The younger. If she is a young sister. As sisters. You address her as sister. It doesn't matter if she's the pastor's wife. No. She's not the first lady. My wife, God bless her sanctified heart. Amen. Uh, she's not the first lady here. No. Uh, the first lady is dead. I never met her. <laughs> That's right. Her name is Eve. That's right. That's, That's the right. first lady. The first one. That's right. And if the pastor's wife is humble, she don't mind you addressing her by her name. That's no. Right. You know, right. and I'm glad I don't have this crazy, self-righteous, arrogant wife, you know, who hats are so big you can't even see nobody. That's right. She don't mind you addressing her by her name. That's right. So, yes, you all pastor's wives that are looking at my face now. <laughs> That's right. All first devils who's called first lady. Amen. You pastors. Get the title off your wife. What make your wife that prominent? That's, That's right. right. What make us so important? Mm -hmm. She had no business being called the first lady. No. That's right. Let her just humble herself and work in the church like everybody else, mm -hmm. or be puffed up and proud and go to hell with almost everybody else. That's right. Amen. Amen. So if you in the church and you address the pastor's wife by her name and she get offended. Uh, she needs to repent of her Amen. sins and be baptized in the name of That's Jesus right. Christ That's right. and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is a humble spirit. That's Amen. right. Huh? Amen. Right. That goes for men that may be ministers. If your wife get beside herself because right. her husband is a minister working in the church, then uh, you need to sit your wife down. That's Amen. Right. And teach her also. Teach her. Ain't no special privilege. Everybody right. got to come around the mountain and do the same thing. That's, That's right. right. Amen. All right, next letter. So we hope you straighten you. Hope we straighten you out. You go back and call your pastor's wife by her name. If she's the old mother, call her mother so and so. If she's Mother Lucifer, if she's <laughs> young, uh, Sister Lucifer. That's right. All right, next letter. <laughs> You're not writing me from around the world, mm -hmm. telling me you want to be a part of First Church. Hmm. Come on. I'm not impressed. That's right. There's terms, Lee. Right. It's plain and simple. Yes. God's way mm -hmm. or no way. Or no way. That's right. No compromising. No compromising. No compromising. They contact us from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. They contact us from Greece. Mm -hmm. That's right. Pa Pakistan, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Philippines. One law. One law. God's way or no way. Or no way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not the way of Geno Jennings. No. God's way. Mm -hmm. Or no way. Well, Pastor Jennings, I, I'm scared to change my, my congregation to get upset. God's way. That's right. Or no way. No way. Well, if I change my wife and leave me. God's way. That's right. Or no way. The way of holiness. Well, if I change my wife said I got to be a eunuch. God's way. That's right. Or no way. That's right. If I don't change my wife said. I, I, I can't have none. God way right. or no way. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening? That's right. Way of holiness. I don't care if your bed become Antarctica. That's right. It's God's way mm -hmm. or no way. Amen. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. It's God's way. God's way. Or no way. That's right. I hear you. 
When your wife can manipulate your preaching, get out the pulpit. That's right. Am I right, man? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Hoorah. Hoorah. That's right. You preachers, Go ahead. when your wife mm-hmm. can manipulate the pulpit, Amen. you're good for nothing. That's right. Get out from up here. They that have wives be as though they had none. Do you hear the apostles' advice? In 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 29. But this I say, brother. This I say. This I say, brother. This I say, brother. The time is short. The time is short. It remains. It remains. That both they that have wives you that got a wife, be as though they had none. You got to live like you don't have. None. That's right. When the word of God is preached, don't go passing it around pass to it pass around. by your wife. Amen. If she's wrong, tell her she's wrong. That's right. That's your right. wife should not be calling the shots no. in the church. No, no. Go ahead, brother. Your wife don't reprimand the folk in the church. That's right. You don't stop preaching because your wife give you the eye. No, no. No. That's right. They that have wives be as though they had none. If you're married, you got to preach like you don't have no wife. That's right. This I say, brother. Huh? That's right. He said, this I say, brother. This I say, brother. This I say, brother. The time is short. This I say, brother. This I say, brother. Glory to God, the time is short. It remains. It remains. That both they that, that have wives. They that have wives. Be as though be they like had don't none. have none. That's right. Be like you. Preach your word. Here it is time for you to preach. Go ahead. And your wife wants to take you, wants you to take her to dinner. Go ahead. And you got to struggle with a choice. Amen. Get out the pool. Get out the pool, pit. Get out. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's right. You're going to pass God's word for chicken? For chicken. Amen. You gonna pass God work for ham, my lord, for potatoes, my lord. Get out the pulpit. Am I right? That's right. That's right. This I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. The time is short. It's short. It remains, it remains that both they who have got wives, a wife be as though they had you none. You got to preach like you ain't got none. That's right. Go ahead. If you never touch her breast again Go ahead, as a result of the message, Go ahead. then live without it. Live without it. Right. Or go to hell with it. That's right. Oh, yes. oh ye priests, this either you're for God mm-hmm. or you ain't fit to be a preacher. That's right. That's right. And you got these men. I think I want to try the ministry. They just got money in mind. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And now, oh ye priests. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. The wife should not be. Hey, you, you had a watching. You know what's going on in your church? The first lady. Go ahead. Your pastor wife. Mm-hmm. She dictate what's going on in the church. Right. Mm. Go ahead. Pastor wife ain't got nothing to dictate what's going on in the church. No. Mm. Don't let the pastor's wife be the treasurer. Mm. Go ahead. It's good teaching, brother. Don't let the pastor's wife be the treasurer. Amen. Let somebody else be. Somebody else be. Get some other members involved. That's right. And stop keeping the money in your family. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old man? But if you have respect of persons, ye commit sin. Go ahead, brother. I want to run to you. That's right. You're running. That's right. This is old fashioned church. Old fashioned. Mm. When it comes to the word of God, my wife know she don't have no say so in the pulpit. That's right. And she knows she don't have no so this is off limits. That's right. She knows that's not her territory. Mm-hmm. This is off limits. Oh, yeah. The yellow tape is across it. The tape is up. That's right. <laughs> off limits. That's right. Out of bounds. This is out of bounds. Out of bounds. You men watching me, you got a PhD and a DD. Mm-hmm. But yet, a method that you use of luring mm-hmm. people in your church, mm-hmm. you get on television with your wife. That's right. 
That's right. The message, you shouldn't have to show off your wife. No. To get people. No. Let the message bring them in. That's right. That's right. I ain't got to show off my wife to get nobody. No. If I got to do that, I'm going to have to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. And then they ain't going to come for the word. They're going to come to see that wife. See the wife. That's true. Yeah. That's right. Preach the word. Listen at this. In 2 Timothy 4 and at verse 1. You first lady churches. Mm-hmm. I charge you people. Wake up. Yes. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. My God, we're trying to give you some good Holy Ghost sins here. That's right. What it say? I charge thee therefore before God. What? And the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing at his kingdom. What was the advice of the apostle? Preach. Pray your wife. Preach the word. That's right. That's right. When you are preaching, you got to go labor in the word of God. If your wife can't go with you, you will go anyway. Amen. Your wife can't be there, you will go. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Be as though they had none. Wife can't be there, you will go. Amen. Mm. Wife say, well, you know, my mother want me, wants you to come over to the house. Well, look, we got to be at church tonight. Well, let's go to church another time. That shouldn't come out the mouth of a holy woman. That's right. That should never come out the mouth of a holy woman. That's right. No, you go see your mother another time. Another time. You put God first and let him stay there. Amen. Go ahead. Always put God first. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yes. Always Always. put God first. That's right. Everything you got is because of God. Amen. Amen. He deserves your complete life and your complete commitment. That's right. When it comes to God, the whole world is a whole. That's right. Everything is a whole. Mm -hmm. Why? You're nothing but a sacrifice. That's all. That's all. And he said, present your body a living sacrifice. sacrifice. Hold it. Hmm. If you're fasting, brother, mm-hmm. and your wife wants you to lay to her, mm. wants you to lay with her, mm. you shouldn't break your fast. That's right. Go ahead. Shouldn't break your fast. That's true. For the matter, she looks so good, she looks like a golden egg. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Shouldn't break your fast. That ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. The word say give yourself to it. That's right. And if she's a holy woman and got the right spirit, she'll respect your fast. Yeah. Mm. Won't tempt you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Go ahead. She see that you're fasting, mm. she keep Victoria's secret in the drawer. Right. Right. Amen. Then when your fast is over, ooh, whip it out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Whip it out, I say. Amen. Oh, thank God. Amen. You get what I'm telling you. Yeah. Go ahead. 